Yo, YouTube, it's your boy Jay back here with another vid. This is part two of recording this video, but nevertheless, we are here. Hopefully, the audio is actually working this time. Um, no real way I can test that, so we're just going to go off the good faith. Anyways, the biggest lesson I've learned selling over $1.5 million in high ticket sales is what we're talking about today. That is the lesson. Um, Hopefully, this provides some value to a couple of different people. If you're a coach out there, if you're a consultant, if you're a service provider, if you're a salesperson selling any product or service for these type of people out here, this video is for you. Um, in my opinion, I believe this is the number one key to selling any high ticket offer here in 2022. Um, and the reason I believe this is through my own experience, right? So I have closed over $1.5 million in revenue. Now, this is not profit. I'm not an expert. I'm not a guru or anything of that nature. Uh, this is just what I've learned. And hopefully, um, this provides value to these people right here. I feel like it would. Um, and I just came to this realization the other day. Um, like, this was probably only three, four days ago. I really came to this realization but this is something that you can leverage, you know, no matter where you're starting from, whether you're a beginner entrepreneur, beginner coach, beginner consultant, you're thinking about starting a service, you're thinking about um, becoming a salesperson, you are a salesperson, whatever it may be. I do believe that you will take value from this video. Um, and not only will you take value, value, but you'll be able to tangibly turn it into a competitive advantage over everyone who haven't realized this one key yet this number one key to selling any high ticket offer on the internet in 2022. And it starts with the idea that first of all, the offer is king. I repeat, the offer is king. I repeat, the offer is king. Now, if you're out there and you maybe just beginning or just starting, you may be asking, what is an offer, right? Like, what, what is this offer? I'm lost. JVM, like, what are you even talking about right now? Like, you're going too fast. Slow down. And I hear you, right? Um, so, an offer essentially is the thing that you are exchanging for someone else's money. So if I want your money, if I want $10,000 from you, I can take it from you. I can rob it. I could scam you. Or I could provide something that's valuable, that's worth $10,000, that you will be happy to give me $10,000 for. Right? And that's your offer. That's what you're selling. That's what your products. Now, I'm not going to get too deep into offers on this video in another video i'll probably be explaining a little bit more but anything i talk about offers is probably coming from this guy you probably all seen him alex from mosey book 100 million dollar offers um amazing amazing stuff in there um but the biggest thing that i feel like is key to a great offer like once you have it right it's something that's not in this book maybe it'll be in the next book he does but this is just something i realized on my own is what makes a good offer is creating content around the problems that your market is facing and solving those problems for free. So I'll repeat that. It's creating content around the problems that your market is facing and solving those problems for them for free. Right? So how this relates to, like, why, why does this mentality work right so i think it goes back to the statistic where it says that it takes a person seven times to see someone's content online to see what they're posting or to hear about a person seven times before someone is ready to make a purchase decision or more so ready to spend money with you actually so this is why a lot of times you may hop on sales calls or you know it's a long sales cycle you might got to talk to the guy three four times just for them to even trust you enough to want to do the deal, right? You got to follow up a couple times. They got to hear more about you. They got to go watch some more videos. I got to think about it, you know, because the big thing is, is we live in 2022. Like I know a lot of like maybe in the eighties and seventies, the sixties, those type of salespeople, those type of sales legends, as we call them, um, they lived in a time to where you didn't have this global, knowledge right you didn't have all the knowledge of what's going on in the world you know you just knew about the solution of the block a lot of times people didn't even wasn't even aware of their problems which is still the case but what do you think is going to happen when you as a salesperson or you as a 
coach or a consultant, you make this person aware of their problems. Like, hey, you're not getting where you're supposed to be because you don't have the right strategy in this area, right? You don't, you're not using the right strategy, so that's why you're not where you want to be. That person will be like, okay, cool. Well, let me think about it because there's because in his mind, there's another guy that's selling a similar service that he's certain about before that he trusts more because they're more known online. And that's the reason why people are losing sales. That's why it's so much easier if you are producing content and quantity and mass quantity and quality. That's a lot easier of a sales conversation and the other person is more likely to give you their money. And that's, you know, what we're trying to do. We're trying to get the deal done, but we're trying to provide something of value that actually is going to help them. So how do we show them that what we have is valuable and it will actually help them solve their problems? By solving their problems before they pay you. Now, as you guys know, right? Because I know we the same type of mindset if you're watching this video. Um, hit like and subscribe to my channel. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're liking this content so far. But the way the way we know that the implementation of a solution works is you have to take action. You have to take action on that strategy, right? So if there's no action involved, there's no there's not going to be no solving of the problem. And we know a lot of times that, especially in today's day and age, there's so much information that we can have our hands to that's so accessible that a lot of times we get information overload or we don't know the next step or we don't know how to make the decision. So what we do is we give away the information for free and we sell the implementation. So give people everything, solve their problems for free. Tell them exactly what they have to do to be successful. This is what I've seen that works. I was on a sales team that was doing over $500,000 a month with like three salespeople. And that's because we had a lot of leads coming in. They already knew the guy who we were selling for. And it was just doing so good. We were all closing at like 50%. Other offers I was on, I was just starting, you know, I'm closing a lot lower percentage than that. Business owners are closing a lot lower percentage than that. It's a different resistance when I hop on the call with them. So this is just something that can really truly help you. And I'm showing an example of it right now. Like if I'm trying to help coaches, consultants, and service providers with things that I'm selling, right? Like I help people become high ticket closers if you want to be a closer. And I help build sales teams and also create sales processes and funnels using short form content and also um, appointment setting type of services, right? So this is for coaches, consultants, service providers. I'll help you scale your business and your sales process. And if you're an aspiring sales person, person, I help you become a remote closer and help you get placed on an offer. So what am I doing? I'm showing you why or how to be successful with those type of services for free. And the way that you do that is you post content at scale. And how do you know what to post, right? Real simply, what you want to do is you want to commit to a niche first. Commit. It's easy to figure out a niche. Health, wealth, relationships. I would say wealth because people are more likely to pay for a wealth solution and they are to pay for a health and relationship solution. I don't know why. It's just the way the world works. If you want to sell these, you can. Not saying they can't make money. It's just it's a lot easier to pitch somebody on something that will make them more money for their money versus something that doesn't really have a tangible result like relationships or um, health. Right? Not saying they can't get sold. Again, anything sellable. Next, once you have that niche, you want to go a little bit lower. So you want to pick wealth. And then you want to go lower than wealth and you want to say, I want to help people earn a side hustle income with vending machines. Let's just say that for example. So say that you bought a couple of vending machines, you're making some money with it. Now you want to teach others. Boom. Now you have your niche vending machine. I help people start those businesses. So what you want to do after that is you want to go to write all their problems that they will encounter when trying to be successful in that business. So if I wanted to have a vending machine business, what would I, what problems might I encounter to be that would hinder me from being successful? One problem I might encounter, I don't have the funding. I don't have, I don't know how to get funding for a vending machine. I don't know how to do that. That's a problem. Um, I don't know where the vending machines go. I don't know how to set them up. I don't know how to transport them. It just seems like a lot. That's that's a problem. Uh, I don't know how to turn it into a business. I don't know how to make it passive income. 
you know, I got to go. You tell me I got to buy candy and restock it and do all this stuff myself. Isn't there a better way? Um, I don't know, you know, um, how to market the vending machine, whatever it may be, right? Like there's a thousand problems that people will solve. I don't know where to get the candy. I don't know um, how to set it up. I don't know. There's problems. And the best part about starting this type of type of business with e-learning is you talk about problems that you've already solved for yourself. So like me, I've already became a high ticket closer that's done over $1.5 million in deals. I've already seen what works and what doesn't. I've already like implemented this stuff. So it's a lot easier for me to talk about the problems that somebody might have. And one of the problems that person might have is how to get them a good offer. So this video is showing you how to determine what's a good offer. Somebody that's posting content all the time that has built a following of people that know and like them and trust them. Simple as that. So if you have a business, high ticket services, high ticket products, whatever it may be, and you're not solving your people, your market's problems at scale, I can guess your bank account. Like I came to this realization after I realized like the ones that's winning aren't the ones that's implementing the information. You know, the people that's starting an agency from the teach somebody how to start an agency course is not the one that's technically winning. Can you make money with an agency? Yeah. The the coach that bought the uh that bought the the coaching package on how to become a coach might not necessarily be making the most money. It's the people that's put, I told you it's my second time making this video, but the biggest thing is right. It's the people that's online in our faces every day that has and captivated our attention are the ones that's getting the majority of the money. And it's as simple as that. Who are you going to go to when it comes to solving your problem? Someone that you've already seen on Instagram 10 times or somebody that you barely even know that sent you a code email. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for this video, man. Y'all go implement that, produce some content, write out all everybody's problems, write out how to solve those problems and turn each problem into a video, you know, make one video. If you're have a vending machine business, make that video all about how to get business credit to purchase your first vending machine. Then make the next video all about where to place the vending machine and how to do deals with those people at that, at that type of business. Then write all about how to turn it into a business in a video. Make a simple Google Doc like this. Record the screen. Walk people through it. Do that for free. People still going to have questions. Just like y'all might still have questions right now about how to do this. If you do, go ahead and DM me on Instagram. It's at JV and Hodges. Go ahead and DM me on Instagram. It's at JV and Hodges. The people I want to DM me on Instagram are the people that's a coach, a consultant, a service provider, or a salesperson, or aspiring salesperson, or aspiring coach, consultant, or service provider. Uh, hit me up. I'll help you nail in your offer if you need that. I'll help you get more leads if you need that. I'll help you with your short form content strategy or content strategy in general if you need that. And if you're a salesperson or want to be a salesperson, hit me up. I'll teach you the game on how to do high ticket sales, how to find good offers, and also help you get on a good offer. If all that sounds like something you may find some value in, um, hit me up. If not, don't want nothing from you other than that. Go ahead, like the video, take the value from what you got, go implement. You don't need me. You know the key. It's just produce content. And the ones that's going to actually, the, the thing that's going to separate the ones that do great with this and make a ton of money and the people that don't is one word. Yeah, you've seen it. That's the separator, folks. That's the separator, folks. That's the separator, folks. And it's not spooky, you know, just get some accountability, get some people in your right corner, um, get some support, get some coaching, learn the right strategies. And this becomes a part of your identity. That's all I got. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Catch you on the next one. Peace.